Hello. My name is Wilby. Right, and my talk is... Oh, sorry, let me let me rephrase that. You're right, mate. Um, my name is Philz of Minecraft. And today <laughs> I'm going to be talking about after 25 years as an online father... After 25 years as an online father, <laughs> father I've learned some important stuff, such as football. Take your kids out footballing. You know, even if it's the wrong one, even if it's that one, you can still take them if they enjoy it. And, you know, you won't have to vomit that much if you don't want to. And you'll have just a really good time, good. I promise you. And I have a message, either way, for all the haters who don't believe that I'm the perfect father figure. You're all just dogs on, on a You're just fucking dogs on a MacBook! Huh? There's nothing else to this is you! Yo! That's you, pricks! Anyway, you're gonna laugh when I show you what I did to you, because you were all saying that I wasn't a good father figure. I gave <laughs> you the biggest fucking PewDiePie bro fist you've ever seen, and I'm just telling you now. I'm just telling you now. You you should be scared. If this is scaring you, then you're well adjusted and correct because you should be scared. Thank Amen. you. You're you welcome, Wilbur. Like okay. That was big. So half of your score comes oh. from how many times people hit the buttons? Up, down. It does. How do you feel about that, Phil? I, I, and the other half I, I, mean, I feel so different. I feel like now you know what to do with your haters. I feel <laughs> you are all just a dog on an Apple, an Apple device. device. <laughs> Tell them they are mere pets on Mac. Fun thing, Phil. I wrote that one fully thinking that you were in the lobby. <laughs> but then I was like, oh shoot. Well, okay. I rated you a big green smiley face, Connor. Oh, yeah, that was really man. good, everyone. That's so I just, nice. I, ju I just, you. I just want to drop character for a second yeah, and say that was good. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> you got this, Tubbs. Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> but all of mine were come related. Oh, oh, oh no! Who, who is running? Ah. Hello, it's my Randy. name is Toby, and my talk is. Knock knock. Who's there? The cum lord. Upvote, 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 upvote. How can I secure a spot at the table of the cum lord? And you just have to go into the internet. All the cum lord resides in the internet. You just, you just go right in there. You right in there with like a, with like a spear. You need a spear and you impale the cum lord at the table, at the round table of the cummers. So that's what you've got to do. <laughs> where did this start? Okay, where did this start? let's talk about the origins of the Cum Lord. So, he came from space. The Cum Lord is an alien. He was shat out of this little saucer fellow here. He came out and he was just he was just pale and creamy looking. So he came out of this flying saucer, the Cum Lord, new to Earth, and decided I'm going into the internet to make a cult to make money. <laughs> Who is to blame? Your mom? I'm sorry. I'm being rude. Maybe it is. Okay, so you <laughs> might want to know how your mother is involved with the cum lord. And how the fuck am I going to work this? <laughs> so this panda is your mum last Halloween. And last Halloween, your mum was in cahoots with the cum lord. And I'm not saying anything. I went wrong for your mum that evening. And now your mum is permanently cummed stuck in that panda costume. <laughs> what? So, what the fuck? I have upvoted that, my good friend. <laughs> that got my upvotes. Connor, why were you not engaged? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I was <laughs> into it. I was into it. You weren't yeah. hitting your upvotes. Your line is very squiggly indeed, Tubbo. I'm very squiggly. Is that like as people are upvoting and they start <clears throat> less upvoting? Like... What was I meant to do then, Tommy? That was a terrible. That, no, that was a mate. You, you nailed. You, that was exactly my envisionment. <laughs> What's that? We'll think of the ten gifted. That uh, when I when I imagined that it went that. You nailed it, boss. You nailed it, chat. I nailed, I nailed the cum lord. You, you know what, buddy? Today. Well done. Someone in your chat just said, oh. "I'm watching with my family. Please stop." <laughs> All right. All right, everybody. <laughs> if you're watching with this is the guy I've been watching on YouTube. <laughs> Like fuck. No, no, family, don't don't say that unless it's prompted. Hi, hi everyone. Uh, my name's Tommy. Uh, uh, and, uh, and, and my talk. Hello, my name's Tommy. And my talk is. 
Have you ever come? Oh God. Well, I have comma. Punk. Well. <laughs> <laughs> now, now the thing about this, back in the back in the early eighties, the the, the the word "come" had a very different definition. In the early eighties, which I wasn't alive for, but my father told me all about, to come was to stand on the desk and, and be applauded, overwhelmed. Uh, look, look, look at that guy in the background. I don't know his name, but he's fucking happy. This, this was joy. Look, look you see it in the bottom left? I'm, I'm making the most of my slides. Come was very different back then. Here's what most people fail to understand about, about the change in the cum sphere uh, over the years. <laughs> this! He's drowning in the cum. He's drowning in the cum. Because this was a world where cum wasn't seen as, it was dangerous. Look at his hands, he's slipping. That, he that finally just turned off their television set. That, <laughs> that, that, he is, he is literally drowned. Look at his fucking eyes, man. And this, this wasn't okay. So we changed the, 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 the universe, um, the universe changed how we're going to do. How is, who is responsible for this? Who was responsible for the mass change in the cum system? Let me tell you. Milk. <laughs> milk changed That's cum forever. Milk. Because people realized. We don't have to make our milk out of milk. Oh. Oh. No. Yeah? Oh, no. Oh, no. Thank you. No, 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 I'll be honest. Right. Okay. Connor, that, that one was hard. No, that, that was definitely not easy, yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, but you know what? I think I made the best I love, of it. Oh. I love just the Oh, yeah, that was bit, bit of Bit of a low yeah, graph no, no. there, everyone, but you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know how the game worked, and so I was stuck, and I was like, oh, well, they said cum was funny earlier, so I just typed that word. <sighs> oh, no. We did good there, everyone. Oh, no. I hate my streamer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Connor, you... <laughs> okay. Wow. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Connor, you've got... <clears throat> All right, we got this. I'm prepared. Are oh, you? <laughs> Hello, everybody. Um, my name is Connor, and uh, today um, I'm going to give a talk about uh, something rather important, um, and that is sex. Uh, not on my watch. Um, so I've been thinking about this for a while. I think that we studied the practice and apps and its culture uh, and prevent each other from... So this is an example of one of the problems. You see what we have here is a flock of ostriches. Um, that is only possible from reproduction, and overpopulation is becoming a problem in the West. Uh, I've been thinking about this for a while. Let's circle, I think. Yep, one, two. There's, there's at least like 17 birds here. You don't want to have 17 offspring. In fact, you might want to have zero, as we see in the next slide. Hold your applause, because I'm going to give you the best news you've ever heard in your life. This is a bathtub in the ocean. Um, <laughs> actually a subtle allegory for where the human race is headed if we keep on continuing with, as right. mentioned earlier, sex. This is, um, there we, if you really care about me, you do what I tell you to do. This sounds rather uh, authoritative. It's up to you, honestly. It's actually a bit open-ended. Um, first, this is a graph of the human lifespan. Um, as you can tell in the middle, that is when you are most sexually active and then when you are not. Uh, this is a perfect example of when to have sex versus when to not. Um, on top of that as well, I would like to mention that you could also, as mentioned earlier, abstain from sex. To Amen. prevent, once again, this graph from continuing onward. Thank you. <laughs> said amen at the perfect time Let's for that one. Yeah. <laughs> amen, brother. Amen. That, amen. I mean... Wait. Anyways. Good job, Connor. Wait for marriage. Comment like you mean it. <clears throat> Wholesome message from Connor Esports. That was really good, oh. Connor. Thanks, the Connor Connie, Esports org does not condone sex. What was the... Uh, I'm a, I'm a yeah, member I, of I Connor really Esports. Right. The, All right. Uh, all right. We're in sync. What, Sorry, Wilbur. The bathtub in the ocean. No, little ones for you. All right, it's, <laughs> it's time. 
All right, the following is a presentation on half of my friend Earl Jones. All right, so hello, my name is Rambu, and my talk is... I've spent my life trying to prove the existence of Bigfoot and the fact that he is real, not just my friend Earl in a fursuit in 1987 when we took pictures in a national state park. Now, this is a pool which um, happens to be the scene of one of the first images which is no of Bigfoot, which is not my friend Earl in a fursuit in any Idaho state parks. It is Bigfoot and he is very real. Now, I don't want to scare you, all right, because Bigfoot, right, pretty scary. And again, not my friend Earl in a fursuit, all right? It has nothing to do with Earl. Um, I don't want to scare you, but um, this is what Bigfoot did to, to did to me. He um, plunged a cross right into my forehead, and you can tell because I have a, um, a slightly uh, jagged eyebrow because of that. Again... It was Bigfoot and not my friend Earl in a fursuit, very intoxicated in the state park of, um, Idaho. <laughs> Alright, am I a hero? <laughs> absolutely. I am absolutely a hero for bringing this to light. Um, again, Bigfoot, not my friend Earl in a fursuit. Alright, this is what Bigfoot, again, this is actually a picture of Bigfoot, um, biting my hand. And again, that is not my friend Earl in a fursuit <laughs> in the National State Park of Idaho. Alright, um... Uh, thank you, and remember, this was on behalf of Earl Johnson of um, <coughs> Boise, Idaho. Thank you. Thank you, Earl. So wait, you're telling me it wasn't Earl? It was not Earl. It was not Earl Johnson of um, Boise, Idaho. Oh, okay. That was a lot. That was a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you did a good job for keeping that going for so long. <laughs> hey, guys. Do you want to hear a magic trick? Yeah. Maybe. Are you ready? <laughs> yes. Oh, oh, hey guys, how's it going? How are you? Oh, wow. Hello. 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 Hey. How are you guys? Hey. Is your mic just... Huh? What just happened? It's on the if I, scre if I scream into my mic, it makes it get better. One last what the f- What? Before the award ceremony. Oh, did I win? That is a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what? Oh, okay. I guess we'll never no, know. I guess, oh, <laughs> what? What? Yeah, this was destroyed. I guess we'll never know. We'll never who know who won. won. Chat, who won? <laughs> I thought again, it said like, who won? It said the true. room was destroyed. It said the room was destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> Our room got fucking destroyed. It was taken down. It, it, it wasn't. It was not taken down. It was destroyed. Techno no blade wins. Oh my god. Unanimous. <laughs> Shut up, techno blade. More like techno lame. <laughs> I'll kill you. Oh, <laughs>